Age of Empires 2 is about empire building, combat and conquest. You start from humble beginnings, a small village in the Dark Ages. You explore to expand your borders, conduct trade to boost your economy, and research technologies to grow your civilization into a mighty empire. But there are difficulties too. Cunning enemies and rivals that oppose you, powerful castles to destroy, tyrants to bring down. And if you're skillful and a little lucky, you just might build a wonder of the world and create an empire that will stand the test of time. To learn how empires are built, help our first hero, William Wallace, in his fight against his oppressors. We are without a leader. The dead king of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south, where Edward Longshanks, the avaricious king of England, has returned from successful campaigns to conquer Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the highlands. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. Well, we must act soon. If we have any chance of resistance, we need to forge an army by any means necessary. To fight back. But if we're to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Good! Now, right click near the blue flag. Good! Now, move to the next flag. Click the soldier, then right click near the flag. Excellent! To move to the next flag, you must walk through the black area. It's fear. Moving into the black area reveals more of the map. The black area represents unexplored territory. That's all there is to it. Now go on to the next flag where you'll meet some allied soldiers. all your soldiers at once. Click near the units and drag around them. Then right click to move. Try moving your soldiers to the next flag. Did all your units make it to the flag? The road ahead is guarded by an English outpost. Scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the screen. Then click the red outpost. Click the outpost to attack. Cut. The outpost is destroyed. Follow the English grades. Keep following the path oh. to the village. Oh. 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 Home sweet home. Oh. Oh. Wait. The English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. They're coming to attack oh. your village. Oh. Don't panic. Just click your soldiers and Right click the red English soldier to attack. Defeat the enemy soldiers and you will have won your first battle. Good job! Now you know how to fight back against the English army.
Age of Empires 2 is about empire building, combat and conquest. You start from humble beginnings, a small village in the Dark Ages. You explore to expand your borders, conduct trade to boost your economy, and research technologies to grow your civilization into a mighty empire. But there are difficulties too. Cunning enemies and rivals that oppose you, powerful castles to destroy, tyrants to bring down. And if you're skillful and a little lucky, you just might build a wonder of the world and create an empire that will stand the test of time. To learn how empires are built, help our first hero, William Wallace, in his fight against his oppressors. We are without a leader. The dead king of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south, where Edward Longshanks, the avaricious king of England, has returned from successful campaigns to conquer Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the highlands. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. Well, we must act soon if we have any chance of resistance. We need to forge an army by any means necessary. All of Scotland, and it's time for us to fight back. But if we're to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Good. Now, right click near the blue flag. to the next flag. Click the soldier, then right click near the flag. Excellent. To move to the next flag, you must walk through the black area. Moving into the black area reveals more of the map. The black area represents unexplored territory. That's all there is to it. Now go on to the next flag where you'll meet some allied soldiers. To move all your soldiers at once, click near the units and drag around them. Then right click to move. Try moving your soldiers to the next flag. Did all your units make it to the flag? The road ahead is guarded by an English outpost. Scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the screen. Then click the red outpost. Right click the outpost to attack. Sweet home. Wait. The English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. They're coming to attack your village. Don't panic. Just click your soldiers and right click the red English soldiers to attack. Defeat the enemy soldiers and you will have won your first battle. Good job. Now you know how to fight back against the English army.
Scotland has soldiers now, if only a few. But if we are to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we will need many more recruits. Much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be steeped in the blood of clansmen. We are without a leader. The dead King of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south, what Edward Longshanks, the avaricious King of England, has returned from successful campaigns in Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the Highlands. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. We must act soon. If we are to have any chance of resistance, we need to forge an army by any means necessary. The English are terrorizing all of Scotland, and it's time for us to fight back. But if we are to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Good. Now right-click near the blue flag. Good. Now move to the next flag. Click the soldier, then right-click near the flag. Forgery, bid fear. Excellent. Now to move to the next flag, you must walk through the black area. Tall. Moving into the black area reveals more of the map. The black area represents unexplored territory. Tall. That's all there is to it. Now go to the next flag, where you will meet some allied soldiers. Bid fear. Tall. To move all your soldiers at once, click near the units and drag around them. Kid? Then right click to move them. Bid fear. Try moving your soldiers to the next flag. Did all your units make it to the flag? The road ahead is guarded by an English outpost. Scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the screen. Then click the red outpost. Good. Now scroll back down until you can see your soldiers again by moving your mouse to the very bottom of the screen. Select your soldiers by clicking near them and dragging a box around them. Right click the outpost to attack it. Keep following the road to the outpost. It's time to knock it down. Post is destroyed. That should slow the English raids. Keep following the path to the village. Home sweet home. But wait. The English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. They're coming to attack the village. Don't panic. Just click your soldiers and right-click the red English soldiers to attack. Defeat the enemy soldiers and you'll have won your first battle. Good job. Now you know how to fight back against the English army.
Scotland has soldiers now, if only a few. But if we are to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we'll need many more recruits and much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be drenched with the blood of clansmen. <laughs>